Hello everyone, my name is Barbara and Polish girl who lives in Ireland and likes to knit and I have a finished object to show you today, which are socks. Aren't they pretty? they one and a kind. Okay, okay, today is December, right? Yes, it is. But it's not when I'm recording it. When I'm recording it, it's actually 28th of August. I'm talking to you from the past. <laughs> right, being a knitter is quite fun. And um, if you're in the knitting community, you can have loads of fun. So I would recommend you to go to Ravelry, go find podcasts, the one that you like. If you're listening to me, you probably found one, which is me already. And you can spread the wings and meet more. So basically what it is, is also reaching out to other knitters who are not on YouTube and stuff like that, to viewers, to you who are looking and listening to me, right? And basically maybe a, two years ago, I had a first shy comment from a person, then we, we chat for, then we had few sentences maybe, then my friend uh, Diane wanted to send me some stuff, and basically that's how it started. And then we decided to do a calendar swap in December uh, last year, and it was just so awkward writing and consuming the time. We decided to start chatting between each other on Instagram, uh, private messages where you can just basically do stories the same way as you chat with someone else. At that point, <laughs> and it was so much fun that we wanted to do it this year too. We decided to do a little bit smaller than last year. Uh, we exchange our we exchange ourselves with mini. So probably at this point, what I'm showing you now, I've got all of them and I showed you all of them and probably doing something amazing with it. But at least I hope. Uh, Dan always pulls me rotten. So this time I try to minimize this thing and uh, just create some boundaries how much we can ascend to each other so yeah we decided to swap minis I think 10 grams and instead of sending ourselves a skein we actually will knit a pair of socks so I'm probably showing you now or I'm going to show you mine in I don't know what kind of video I'm going to create I don't have a clue I need to think about it well I have a few months to think well a few weeks to think of um but I knitted her these. So basically today she unpacked these and hopefully she's so happy to have them. So here they are. I know you have them on your feet. So I hope you trilled. And now maybe I'm going to tell you more. What did I do? And how did I knit them? And so on and so on. And why I picked them this yarn. Okay, let's start. First things first bag. Um, as I told you, Diane spoils me with mad bags. I get bags from her too. And this is the bag that recently I received and it's just a beautiful swap, the most beautiful one. I will leave a link down below to her Instagram page, which is Instagram dedicated to her bag. So you can have a peek what's up there and pick the one you like. Just comment and grab one if you want. Um, what I have over here, I have socks and my keychains and also happy knitter because that's the one Diana is she's a happy knitter um, and then I wanted to do something special too and I wanted to bring a brightness and everything because she's such a cheerful person and I was looking for yarn I wanted to do also something that I've never done before to mix that first special memory uh, with these socks okay are you crying now <laughs> Right, so let's start with a contrast color. I went with a white one because the yarn was very busy and the one I used is Drops Fable, 75% wool, 25% polyamide, it is super wash um, and the color is 100. Diane, just in case something happens to your heels, this is what you need to replace with. <laughs> I have still leftovers and here how this beautiful off-white looks like. It's not purely white, I would say, but it's perfect with this. I think pure white would 
would give too much contrast, too much of a contrast. Okay, you see this yarn? I did not have a clue it's going to knit so beautifully and when I was knitting with it, I'm so happy that I did contrast color here, here and here because I may have leftovers and I may have started knitting a socks, a matching socks for myself. So I have some leftovers over here and I'll definitely knit something, not something, and knit socks with it. I'm not sure I'm going to get as long cap over here as it is, but well, come on, it's beautiful. So what is so special about this yarn? I got it from Knitcrate, that's the first thing. Is something special? I don't think so. But I knitted first time socks with the blend 60% merino wool, 20% nylon, and 20% alpaca. So we have alpaca over here. So Diane, you're going to test it for me. Do you like it or not? Anyway, I will be knitting a pair for myself too. Uh, so what else you would know? It's 402 meters, 440 yards. Alpaca plus, that's how we call it. And the color is Jewel's Wings. I love that. You're a jewel. I know Jewel probably is a bird. <laughs> so here it is. Here how it looks. In, knit it up and this is how it looks in the cake so nice don't you like it oh my it's so beautiful lovely so if you have never swapped socks if you've never done any knitting anyway it was so much fun to knit these socks and having a feeling that I'm not literally left without anything although I'm you know if you watch me you know I do loads of gift knitting but even though I knitted these, I'm going to get a pair myself. So I think it's a win-win situation. So if you're, as you call it, some people say there are selfish knitters, uh, you might try something like that because at the end you'll be giving, but also receiving. Um, so check it out. So what did I do over here? I knitted toe up, my favorite method, the same way I knit socks. So I've put links down below to my step-by-step -step tutorial how I do it. Um, there's loads of other ways to knit socks, just to let you know. And uh, yeah, so I did afterthought heel. Uh, Diane was okay with it, so we shall see how it goes, how it fits her. Uh, I believe if I messed up something, she is a knitter, she can definitely undo it and uh, do it herself uh so yeah so i'm not worried about them i hope they're i hope they're fit right um beautiful and it was a glimpse for me to knit these and what we were sharing we were sharing that we're picking yarn we didn't show the yarn to each other we're saying uh how we're going to knit it is going to be plain it's going to be a texture um we may have said it could be striped not i didn't say anything because would you say it's going to be striped? <laughs> the way it was dyed, I don't know. But it gave a beautiful, beautiful stripey effect and it's just uh, the best. Uh, so I love it so much. I hope she's going to cherish it and it's going to be the best uh, gift she has ever received. Uh, probably not too much, but love them. I can pack them now. And yeah, I would have showed you needles because um, I was knitting them and I took the needles and I was using these needles. These are high highest fix needles. That's why you see a blue cord. And I use my pouch, which uh, emphasize that I'm knitting it for someone. And obviously um, it's kind of a Christmassy feeling into it, but any gift I would use these. Um, so yeah, needles, US size one. 2.25 millimeters, that's what I used, and you can find them down below in my shop. Scroll down to find it. <laughs> okay, I hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next one. Don't forget to use hashtag one thing I love. Show me what you're knitting. If you haven't subscribed, please do and ring that bell because from time to time I'm posting videos. I don't have a schedule, so you never know, but I hope I'm knitting quite a lot. Hopefully I've visited quite a lot for the last two months and you could have seen some beautiful things. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this one. See you in the next one. Bye.